What's going on, guys? Chase with IDub Hockey, hanging out with Matthew, who is the brand manager of protective and head safety for Bauer Hockey. We have your really exciting Hyperlite helmet in front of us today. Before we start talking tech and spec, what was your guys' goal coming to, uh, you know, really bringing this to market from some very successful helmets like the React 150 before it? So first we wanted to use our, our freeform platform to bring re performance to the player. And it started with lightweight, the lightest weight element on the market and uh, that, that would define performance. The other thing we wanted to bring on the market, it's, it's, it's an element that would change the, uh, the visual look of, uh, of how player are, are wearing, wearing helmet with a very different vent and a, a unique look on the shelf. Definitely, as soon as you first lay eyes on it, you can tell this is a different looking, super sleek, very modern approach to shell construction. You pick it up in your hands, you're blown away. So uh, 425 grams, which is insanely lightweight for a helmet. How were you able to accomplish this this year? So when we looked at, at, at bringing the, the, the lightest element on the market, uh, we, we've looked at every detail. So the engineering team looked at every detail to optimize the weight. So starting with the shell, uh, we're using a variable shell thickness, uh, depending on, on the impact on the helmet and where did those impacts happen on the helmet. Uh, looking at every detail, such as the hardware, the ear cover, uh, and, and all those other detail. And finally, the uh, one of the main uh, aspect of the helmet regarding the protection is the, the shock light foam. So shock light foam provides very good protection against impact, uh, against impact to absorb the energy. And it's a super lightweight, uh, lightweight foam as well. So combining both the performance of the uh, impact, uh, impact energy absorption, as well as the uh, a lightweight package. It's also very comfortable too with that comfort foam that kind of sits on top of it. And it's somewhat of an evolution from the previous VTX foam that was incredibly lightweight as well. Is that correct? Yeah, so it, it's it, it, it's derived from the research we did with the VTX foam. So it's kind of the next generation of VTX uh, to provide lightweight comfort and the, uh, the impact protection. On top of that, we've added some comfort padding uh, with some Poron XRD insert uh, that, that adds to this great feel and protection. Definitely. Once you put it on your head, it's, it's very easy to forget that you're even, wear, you're even wearing the helmet, just how comfortable it is, and more importantly, just how light it is too. But uh, just to touch on you know, that shell, it's really cool how you were able to optimize the thickness on it and just the toolless removal with your covers that are lighter, but also toolless. It's a, it's a great little touch as well. Uh, the other thing that really stands out amongst many of the things that stand out immediately is the occipital design here. So can you walk me through, you know, the, the real purpose on why, you, why it has such a high uh, slope there? So there, there's two things that, 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 that are uh, why we chose this, uh, this design. The first one was to make sure we're, we were optimizing the weight, as, as, as I mentioned before. So removing as much shell as possible but we wanted to make sure we're, we would not compromise on protection and comfort. So this, this eye occipital cut is allowing us to put a bit more foam, so more protection uh, in that area, and as, as well as more foam to, to provide this, uh, this locked-in feel from the occip occipital uh, region. And then before we start moving on, how would you compare the overall weight as well as protection levels of this Hyperlite to the previous React 150 that this is kind of uh, taking over. And, and the Bauer scale, those are both elite helmet and they're, they're both built to, to meet the requirement, the safety requirement of the elite game. Uh, and what we focus with a similar protection story and similar protection level, we were able with the Hyperlite to bring uh, the performance aspect with the lightweight uh, lightweight performance. It's crazy. It's like nearly 20% lighter compared to that previous 150. And like you said, still truly elite level protection that you need for those elite level players out there. So one thing that we're, we're, we're talking about here internally at Bauer is how, how people are spending a lot of money on their stick uh, to, because, because we're, we're getting stick that are lighter and lighter. 
we just came up with a very lightweight helmet uh, to bring that performance aspect on the ice, but it's also there to protect your 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 head and the, the most important thing in, in your game. Definitely. And when you think of uh, performance or weight savings and skates or sticks or even some of the protective, you think of performance, and that's what you can now think towards helmets without having to compromise the protection. Now, for the players that maybe haven't checked out the React 150, with that really revo revolutionary adjustment system, we're seeing that brought over into the Hyperlite. So typically we like to classify helmets as either oval shaped or round shaped. This really helps to bridge the gap between the two. So walk me through this adjustment system and how that really benefits players of all head shapes out there. So with the freeform adjustment system that we've introduced uh, with the React 150, we, we kind of revolutionized this, uh, this fitting system where we're not only, we're, we're now we're not focusing on fitting you, whether you have a round shape or, or an oval shape. The freeform adjustment system allow us to get an adjustment both in width and in length. So you can have a wider helmet and a shorter, shorter adjustment or a thinner adjustment with a, a longer a longer shape so you'll you'll fit with the same helmet all type of head shape so you're not not only you can pick your performance first and then your uh, your head shape will follow perfect and and it is a little bit of a deeper fit this year too and you know it feels really great on the head because it really feels like it's it's head hugging you know it's kind of like holding in place nice and comfortable and like i said earlier you forget you have it on it's so light now let's talk about the shell. Uh, you know, helmets is a very visual shopping journey as well. And like we mentioned in the in the beginning, you wanted to create something that looked sleek, modern, and fast. So, what were a couple maybe design inspiration you guys took to come out with this new shell? So, when we've talked to kids about, hey, what what would you inspire the speed of the game of hockey, and and. A lot of the the uh, the design inspiration came from those fast car, and when we looked at those fast car, uh, they were all sleek, slow, steep here. So, showing that to kids as we developed the the element was a very important element. Uh, we they they wanted their element to look fast, not only being light, but they wanted to look fast on the ice. Uh, so, coming up with a a lower profile, a sleeker sleeker design on the vent area that was also very important that to look fast mm -hmm. ties to the, the the lightweight aspect of the uh of the element as you also mentioned was very important for us to get an element that sits deep on your head so it would be very secure and stable so not only it's lightweight but because it doesn't move on your head it feels even like you're not wearing anything that's awesome and I think you guys could safely say that mission accomplished it. It really, really looks sleek. And like we talked about the performance aspects there with just how light it is. Uh, one other question that players might be wondering out there, you know, what sort of Bauer cages, shields, visors fit on this? Is it pretty universal like any other helmet before it? Or are there any special recommendations you would make? So what we're recommending is the React face mask. So to match the latest element on the market, we're, we're, we're recommending the React uh, cages, which is the, the lightest cage on the market. But it's a pretty standard Bauer standardized uh, 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 screw up, screw system. So you can fit uh, most of Bauer helmet uh, cages, most Perfect. of Bauer cages. Awesome, cages, shields, and even those visors as well. But uh, Matthew, just want to say thank you so much for sitting down with us today and walking us through this very exciting Hyperlite helmet. Thank you, Chase. And then for you at home that want to check out more of these Bauer Hyperlite helmets, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com. <laughs>